let's go ahead and write ourselves an example code. So at the beginning of any code, underneath your motors and sensors, you'll notice there's always a dash star. And then they sort of give the task description in the pseudocode, and then they have a star dash. Let's talk about that. If you see a dash star, so a dash and then an asterisk, that's basically code for turn off the code. Anything after this will be turned green, will be turned into pseudocode, something you can't act or your computer can't read. All right. It won't read, I should say. So if you have this dash star, everything after it, every line after that symbol will be turned off. And so the reason why we do that is, okay, we can have our task description. And you'll see this in your template in Robot C. Task description. Now the uh, task description I want is to turn off a motor uh, with one switch, then turn on an LED for five seconds with a different switch. So let's write that out. Turn on, let's zoom out just a little bit so we can see what's going on. I want to turn off a motor with one switch, and then I want to turn on my LED with another switch. Simple. Underneath your task description, you'll see your pseudocode. It'll be already written for you, just like your, the word task description is. You just put a little semicolon there, or I guess that's a regular colon, or maybe it's a dash. I don't know. But for now, we're just going to make a note and say, see this in code. So we'll write our pseudocode for ourselves in our code. Just a little note for ourselves. Now, you'll notice right before your task, if there was a dash star, Right before the task, you'll see a star dash, which is a reverse of the previous symbol. So underneath pseudocode, write yourself star dash. And so what this says is everything between those two is turned off. Your computer will not see that as code. So everything after this symbol is pseudocode. Everything before this symbol is pseudocode. But now everything after will be code again. 